What does it mean to be a factor? Um, let's, let's take it, let's break it way down. Let's say I gave you the number six and I asked you, what are the factors of six? What would you tell me? Two, three, one, and six. Do we all agree those are factors? Yeah. So now, what does that mean? How did you come up with those numbers? Multiples. Not multiples. Multiples, multiples mean, multiple. multiples would be 6, 12, and... Oh, oh, they multiply together to get six. Okay, you can multiply factors together to get 6. Tell it to me another way. They add together, together to get 6. They can multiply, not necessarily, maybe add, but not every time, but they do multiply together. What else? Tell me what happens. What were you about to say? Aaron? That's what I was looking for. You can divide. Um, divide by a factor. You get a factor. Six, yeah. And also if you, that's an arrow, I'm sorry. And also, if you divide by a factor, come on, divide by a factor, you get no remainder. Meaning it goes in evenly. Do we all agree with that? Yes. So we're going to take, just like we took the same concept of long division and we applied it to polynomials, we're going to take this concept and apply it to polynomials. So we're going to divide by a factor to get another factor and then we're going to put them together. Why are you looking at me like that, John? <coughs> Is this going to be just as long as one division? Nah. Maybe this is quick. How long? Tell me. I start out with a function. Let's call, let's say it is 3x to the third minus 4x squared. Come on. Minus 28x minus 16. If I tell you that x plus 2 is a factor, how could you find another factor? You could divide it, right? Because when you divide by a factor, you get another factor, okay? So the direction for these are actually going to say factor completely <laughs> given a factor. He's not wrong. Okay? So my first step in these is going to be to divide by the factor. And, and that'll all be given. Everything in yellow will be given to you. Okay. Y'all need a second to catch up with me before we do it? Okay. How do I divide by x plus 2? Let's do it easy way. Synthetic. What goes on the outside? X plus 2. Negative 2. Synthetic, if we were doing long division, we'd do x plus 2. All right, negative two on the outside. What are the coefficients on the inside? Three, four, Close. negative four. Negative four, negative one, eight, negative two, seven. Easy. Right there. All right, drop down the first. Multiply, that's right. Add. Negative 10. Multiply. Positive 20. Multiply. Add. How do I know, huh? How do I know that that was a factor? No remainder. That's exactly right. Hey, what's your question? What, negative 6? Oh, when you put the number on the outside, you multiply by what's on the outside. You write it here, and then you add. 
And then you keep doing the same thing over and over. You multiply, you write it up here, and you add That's it. Seriously, yeah. We've already done that. That's yeah. not it. Okay. John, can I finish? <laughs> Let me finish presenting the information. Okay, so we have, the only thing we've done right now is we've divided. We have confirmed that x plus 2 is a factor. And in fact, another factor of this polynomial is what? Interpret the answer. When you divide by a factor, you get a factor. So give me another factor. What are you talking about? A? When you divide by a factor, the factor of x plus 2, you get another factor, which is the answer. So what's the answer when you divide it? 3x squared minus 10x Oh, Lord have mercy. That's a factor. Because I divided by a factor, and that's what I got, so both of those are factors. So now, does everyone in here agree with me? I haven't even said it yet. That 3x to the third minus 4x squared minus 28x minus 16 can be written as x plus 2 times 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. Okay. Which is to write as a multiplication problem. Okay, in other words, put the two factors together. Put the factors. Now, what did I, what were the initial directions? Go back up to the top. What, what did it tell me to do to start with? Factor completely, okay? My goal was to take this and factor it, okay? <laughs> this one, I could have tried to slash it, but it wouldn't slash. So I need to factor it, and I didn't know how, but they, if I have some place to start, in other words, a factor to start with, then I know where to go from there. I can divide it, okay? So step one, we divide it by the factor. Step two, we write as a multiplication problem. And step three is we rewind, rewind back to chapter one. And we factor completely. And you should know how to do this at this point. Because, all right, I have x plus two. That can't be factored any further, right? It's just x plus 2. But 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. I can factor that down. So this goes back. Rewind chapter 1. Multiply a and c together. What's 3 times negative 8? What two things multiply to negative 24 but add to negative 10. 2 and 12. Or negative 2 and negative 12. Or negative 2 and negative 12. Spit it out, baby. <laughs> That's all right. He got them. That was a good job. No, it was. It was 12 and 2, but the 12's got to be negative because they have to add to negative 10. Okay? All right. Are you confused? All right. Remember back whenever we multiply, if we, shh, 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 if we factored quadratics, so I'm, right now I'm just looking at this piece right here. So I multiplied A and C together. Yeah, I was about to ask you all about this. That's 2x squared minus 12 And I found the two numbers that multiplied to the ends but added to the middle. So now I'm going to rewrite that quadratic, okay? So I've got x plus 2, 3x squared. I'm going to do the negative first because that's usually easier. Negative 12x plus 2x minus 8. Is it starting to look familiar? Yeah. No? Yeah. All right, that's because that's what we divided by. So we wrote just like if I took so 6. Well, if I took 6 and divided it by 2, I would get 3, right? Mm -hmm. So I could rewrite 6 as 3 times 2. I've done the same thing. I divided by x plus 2 and I got this and then I just multiply them together. 
It's already factored down. That can't be factored down any further. All right, let's slash it. What can you take out of the first two? 3x. What's left? Whoa. X minus 4. No, you're not. Take the middle sign. What can you take out of the second two? What's left? Remember whenever I told you when we did factoring, if there was one thing I could tell you that you could not survive without in this class, it's the factoring. We come back to this through the every single like chapter. That. Everywhere. All right, x plus 2, mm -hmm. still in the front. I'm going to take the x plus 4 and write it once because I'm going to factor that out. And what's left? Now it's factored completely. I'll put the 3x plus 2 first. That does not matter. That's fine. The order of that does not matter. Woo, let's do another one. That's not going to What the coefficients? Oh, the rest is easy. <laughs> so you could technically you could do this with long division. You could divide by x minus four. All right, drop it. Multiply. <laughs> and add. On my pen slip. <laughs> well, uh, well, I tell you what, y'all are rough on me. Okay, it's three. Then you multiply. You said you like this class, David. Just ignore him, David. They hate us because they ain't us. Yeah, that's 40. That's, uh, yeah. All right. How do I know that I have done it correctly? No remainder. No remainder. Okay. X squared. So write it now as a multiplication problem. X squared. What part, John? Now, the other one, I put the X my support at the front. It doesn't matter. I don't know where to get that. X squared plus 3X minus 4. All right, so that's coming. Remember, this is remainder constant X X squared. So it's coming from the answer when you divide it. No, no, it doesn't matter. It can be in the front or the back because multiplication is commutative, which means the order does not matter. Yes? All right, is it factored completely? Yep. No, no, David, no. <laughs> I have a quadratic. I need to multiply A and C together. Negative 10. Give me two numbers. Good job, y'all. Multiplies to negative 10 but adds to positive 3. 
So we said negative 2 and 5. So I have x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 10. I'm going to keep writing this x minus 4 because I'm not even going to mess with it. It's just hanging out out there, right, John? That's right. Slash it. What can you take out of the first two terms? X. X. What's left? Keep the middle sign. What can you take out of the last two? Five. Five. What's left? X minus two. That's the truth. <laughs> David, I love your enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Just because this first one was in parentheses to start with, you don't have to. Yeah. Here, I took an X out of these two terms. No, because right now we're factoring. We're not trying to get rid of it. Is that the answer? Almost. i got to write it out. i got to take the X minus 2 out. X plus 5. That's nice. So, John, come on down. The price is wrong. No, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right is wrong, definitely. All right. <laughs> oh, heck no. Okay, John. F of X equals 3X to the third minus 2X squared. Minus 61x minus 20, and the factor is x minus 5. Factor completely, John. By the way, if you um, write this down, this is going to Come on, so we're doing the first one. We're doing one with you. You can okay. write this one first and let the rest yes. follow. If you want to do it on a separate piece of paper. Okay, go. Five, five. five on the outside, that's right. Yeah, do it on a separate paper because you'll have to turn it in. 28. I'll turn it on the half sheet. Hey. Four. Go, John.
Alright, now factor your quadratic. Alright, guys. Alright, sir. That's all, that's all Sorry, guys. Would you rather write on this? Do I need your pen? This is a nice pen. No, it's oh. just... It is really nice, right? Very nice. <laughs> it's well, I have well. for it. All right. <laughs> it would it be, uh, is the answer... Well, it multiplies to 12, but adds to 13. 12 and 1. 12 and 1. Good job, guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. 3x squared plus 12x plus 1. No. Just plus x plus 4. Plus 4. Plus 4. Now we're going to try to get this. This is going to work. We're going to get this greatest column. Like we got to slash. Yeah, we got to slash. Get the GCF here first. Um, yeah, don't forget that x minus 5. I got to come over here where I can sleep. Um, X plus 4. 3X. 3X. X plus 4. 3X is the GCF. Your answer is X plus 4. Okay. So, what's the GCF? You just have brought it down. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it down, guys. That's what they're What's this, one? One. X plus four. Dang, bro. Dang, you did really well. This is your answer right here. Guys. Yeah, we're going to write it right here. X plus four. Uh, 